Hey guys, this is Battle Productions, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Insurgents. Last episode, we took on the Augur with his Rayquaza, yes. I mean, yeah, we basically, you know, yeah, we found out this guy was, you know, he, he was a part of Sky Cult this whole time. He's just a set, he's just created a bunch of propaganda, and it's causing problems. We took out a gym leader, we, we sacrificed a gym leader in order for us to survive, because we beat him in a battle. Unfortunately, that guy had some pretty good Pokemon, he died. So yeah, he summoned Rayquaza, we took out Rayquaza. He has some big gem that gives him power, Damien broke it, it spread across the region, and different cults have this, have this gem now, so it's crazy. And yes, in this episode, we're gonna be moving on, and we hope to see you... Breaking news! We are live with an exclusive interview with the hiker recently rescued from the Rezai Cavern. It's good to have you on. It's good to be on, ma'am. Oh, it's a oh, it's a lady. <laughs> no, it's a man lady. No. Can you describe the situation for our audience? Well, you see, my family and I were mining around the cave. We heard them small artifacts and all, and then we found this funny old scroll. Turns out Scott Colt is up top on it, and they threaten us. I'm sure it must have been scary for you and your family. Oh, it was, man. They up sealing us down the ladder up uh, a bunch of rocks. Scared the life out of us, it did. But then, uh, and then Rapture, our very own auger, pushed aside the rocks. Oh, my. Oh, he's playing the nice guy now. He looked us out and saved my family and I. We cannot replay him for anything tonight, so I just know the auger's gonna be taken down them school Colton, Scott Coltons. What a fantastic man. You won't believe a word against him. No siree. Thank you so much for joining us. It includes our special broadcast. Oh, sorry about that. I just got the augers here to protect the people like the Sky Colt. I hope we'll see you again. Oh, okay. They all don't know. This is gonna bother me for the rest of the Let's Play if the people don't know what the augers, what he truly is. Oh boy. That's gonna bother me a lot. So now, where do we go? Looks like we go this way. But yes, I kind of have a question for you guys to answer in the comments. I'm kind of curious what you guys think. So, now we know... All, pretty much we know the cults. I mean, we probably are we probably don't know some of the cults Maybe there's more in the future, but now we know the basically the abyssal cult We know the dark eye cult. We know the perfection cult and we know the sky cult Which one I mean this is they're all bad But I just want to know which one do you think you'd want to rule the Torin region now in my opinion We saw a dark cry cult You know but at the beginning of the game and yeah, they were not nice people so I wouldn't want them, you know, in charge of the whole world. So, yeah, I kind of want to count them out. Next, we have, what was it, the Abyssal Cult? We really don't know too much about them yet. Hopefully find out more about them in the future. But as of right now, we don't know much. So, I mean, they don't seem like too much of a threat. They just want to summon Kyogre. Now, then we got Perfection. The leader of Perfection, you know, he gave us Pokemon to use to start off our journey. Now... Yeah, I think I'd rather want him to become the one that's in charge. Because not only that, he has a true plan on how he wants to rule this world. I mean, technically, yes, all these cults are bad. But if we had to pick between any of them, I feel Perfection would be the best cult to side with. Now, will we have to side with a cult at some point? Probably not. We're probably going to have to take out all the cults in this game. But yeah, I definitely would not want the Sky Cult to be in charge. Because... That auger, man, I'm mad at that auger. That auger, he really makes me mad. I want him gone. That's my true motivation. And I'm starting to like Damien now, just because of the fact that he's on our side, and he's really become a strong trainer. At first he was like a weak, dumb trainer. Now he's actually decent. So I'm actually really happy to see Damien's on our side. And yeah, I just hope he stays like that. I don't know. Insurgents is a crazy game. He might go bad. I don't know. We'll find out, but You never know. I just hope not. It's possible, but I'm not gonna let it happen So have you ever gone cave splunking before there's so many cool caves in Torn you can check out. Yeah I'm sure there's plenty of great caves, you know, and there's Kevin and yeah, we have a bad matchup great Okay, we'll go to Jake Although we don't really have a good water move. I really want to know when I get an actual water move That's good for Jake I know it learns Aqua Tail at some point, but I want to know when. Hopefully it's soon, because Jake really needs a water type move. It's crazy, and hey, there's lava there, and then there's water over here. Sure, we'll use our instant Lapras, and we'll go up and see what's over here. Looks like we got a scientist lady. How do you think about being a cave can affect the battling style? Let's find out. Yeah, let's find out. Probably not much, but Vulcan is going to destroy this thing. And he was burned. Oh, wow. 
That did a lot of damage. I mean, Magnezone's a tough Pokemon, so it's kind of expected, but still. Vulcan's level 47, and that's it for Deborah. So yeah, that... I forgot to mention, yeah, off-screen, I decided to name my Typhlosion Vulcan, which is the god of fire in Roman times. At least that's what they believe, the Romans. So that's why I wanted to, you know... I want to name him Vulcan. I just wanted something different. I was kind of leaning towards Zuko just because of Avatar The Last Airbender. I really liked Zuko from Avatar The Last Airbender. He was a really good antagonist, and I thought it was cool how he changed his ways in the show. But, you know, I decided to go with Vulcan instead. Because I know, I know Zuko's been used as a Typhlosion name for a while, so I want to go with something different, so I went with Vulcan. So let's see. We got a Hitmonlee right here, and he has Blaze Kick. Okay. It's definitely not gonna live against Leaf Blade, but still, that's interesting. I, I'm happy to see that there's some very good move varieties in this game. I'm not sure if Hitmonlee can normally learn Blaze Kick. If it can, dang, I I really need a Hitmonlee in any other run I can get. Holy cow! So let's see. Uh, yeah, let's heal up Pudding, and let's keep going. Let's see. It's very misty in here. My family and I are sponsors of the Librarian Torrents because our funding that they are able to keep so many rare and expensive books. Oh, that's great. And you got a Roserade, which is a bad matchup for our good buddy, uh, what's his name, Pudding. So we're going to send out Vulcan, Vulcan instead. Let's hope he does not do a static in, status condition, and it doesn't. Lava Plume should finish it off. Oh, it doesn't. But we got the burn. We've gotten the burn a couple of times with that. That's awesome. Just in this episode. So now it's time for Mantine. Let's go Thunderbolt, because it's quad effective against it, so yes, let's go Discharge, and goodbye. And that is it for James. Now let's put Jake up top, just because it's the only one not at level 47. I know I try to keep my levels all consistent. I don't know if that bothers some people or not, but to me, it bothers me if I don't have them consistent. Ooh, yeah, let's take this Drudigan out. I was thinking, I was like, mm, I could catch it, but at the same time, I was like, eh, not really. I really don't care for it, so. All right, Drudigan. Let's, I mean, uh, let's just move on. So, let's see. Rhyhorn. Interesting Pokemon. Also, I did do some uh, customer, uh, blah, blah, customization in just off screen. I decided to get a red headband and red shirt and put it on our character. Just because, you know, I needed something a little different. We we haven't really done anything with customization the whole time. And I was like, you know what? Let's do something special. So, yes, now we have something different with our guy. Oh, a heat more. There's a bunch of good fire types in here. Flame burst. Oh, we live. That's good. And there goes that heat more. And looks like we have one more trainer. I hate this cave. The steam makes it hard to breathe. My dress gets so dirty. Ah, oh, that you poor thing. Okay, plus, so we better... Let's, yeah, let's switch. That would be a problem if we stayed in. Let's go Pudding. Agility, I'm not concerned. Nasty Plot, that's something I could be concerned about, but yet again, Plusle's not going to live against Pudding. Jekyll 47, now it's time for Minin. Let's just keep Pudding in. And yeah, this this guy will be no problem. Boom. Oh, he lives with 1 HP. I see how this is. Trump Card, huh. I haven't seen Trump Card used in battle before. That's interesting. Let's keep moving. Let's see. Oh, we're at, uh, what is it? Utira Town. That's cool. So we're in a new town, that's nice, let's talk to you. It's often trainers will, yeah, we all learn stuff. Oh, look at all those swallows! That's cool. Hear the news, the auger rescued someone. Great. Just great. I heard the gym leader in Kepler City has a laboratory with all sorts of appliances. Ooh, so we can get a Rotom, that's cool. I like Rotom. It's an interesting Pokemon, let's talk to you. Take care of small berry bushes in Utira Town. Here, you can have one, yes, I'm sure we can come back every day and we'll get a new berry. Probably. That's usually how that works with those people. So let's see. Let's talk to you. You know what completely blows my mind? Gravity. Even today, scientists only have a basic understanding of how it works. Such a powerful force. Okay. There are so many lazy people in this town. They won't go in the library themselves, but they hire people to find books for them. Lazy. It's easy money, though. What, though? What's this? The marking on the stone to tell the life of Satoru Iwata. It wishes him a sweet and peaceful rest. Wow. That's awesome. Oh. I traded you my slugma for anything. Ugh, no. But yeah, that's really cool about how the suzerain put in a tombstone specifically for Satoru Iwata. Because, yes, the last time, you know, uh, what was it? Yeah, the last time, yeah, let's see, when did he pass away? Was it July? It was July something. Uh, okay, you're trying to find a book. 
Okay, so we have to find a book about Moonlight. But yeah, it was like July when Hu Iwata died. It was some cancerous thing. He was he died young too. So it was a good thing that the suzerain put Tsuturo Iwata's, you know, just to give him a little like a memorial thing. I'll treat you my drill bird for any dragon types. Nope, sorry. But yeah, it's I just I just feel that's great. Uh, thank you, Suzerain, for doing that. It really is a good thing to do. So let's heal up quickly. And yes. Let's see, what else is in this town? We got the library, probably. No? No, have you seen the the races in Sonata City? My favorite the favorite to win is Rapidash Rapidash is here. I'm gonna bet on Grimer. I love supporting the under uh, sludge. <laughs> yeah, okay. And let's see. Have you ever considered a career in Pokemon Navy? Eh, no thanks. Pokemon Navy. You think you can do me a favor? I'm trying to train up my fighting type team, but I have trouble deciding on the best move sets for them. There's a book in the library called The Fighting Compendium. That could help, but I haven't been able to find it. Oh. So now we got two quests. Where is this so-called library? Is the library here? Did we miss it somewhere? Is it in here? The cave? Nope, that's the Cave of Steam. Where's the library? Is it? It must be up north here. Because that's the only place we can go. I was thinking maybe that's like a cave or something. No, that's a library. Oh, sorry! Oh, hey, Michael. I'm glad you made it. Welcome to Eterra Town. It's a beautiful place. Nora, Michael's finally here. Oh, Michael, I'm glad to see you. I heard what happened on Jade Tower. That's horrific. It's hard to believe that the Augur was really the leader of the Sky Cult all along. If anything, though, this makes me what we're doing here even more important. Remember a while ago when we first met, I told you about there's some ancient prophecy about the Pixies? That's right, here in the Uterra Library, there's the biggest collection of books in the region. I figured that any place I could have information on that, or have that prophecy, it would be here. Damien and I was skimming through the shelves trying to find information. I appreciate it if you could help us out. But first, you and I are... Hey, wait! You said I could go first! <sighs> Damien and I both have Mega Rings and Mega Evolution on our teams now. I want to test my team against yours, so does Damien, though. And we shouldn't waste too much time. Why don't you pick? We're rivals, after all. We should try to keep each other on our toes. We want to battle. We just faced Damien not too long ago. We haven't faced Nora in a while, so let's go Nora. I know you'd rather battle me. Let's get started then. You're going to see the true power of Mega Evolution. Okay, let's go. What's her Mega? Okay, she has a Dew Blade with her. But yeah, we're going to go for that Crunch. Critical hit, super effective. Yeah, this yeah, this Dew Blade's going to go down. Oh, it lives with like a sliver of health. Oh, I forgot. Slash is not very effective. Okay, well, let's go for Crunch and take it down. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Celebi. Hmm. Let's go Phantom. Phantom would be good against this thing. Let's go Mega Evolution and then Shadow Ball. Oh, it's faster. That's okay. Because we're going to take it down in one hit because Phantom is amazing. Phantom level 48. And now it's time for Fly Gun. Let's stay in. Okay, we have to be faster in this thing. Oh, it's her Mega! Her Mega is a Fly Gun! Oh, it missed a Dragon Rush. Holy cow. That would have been nasty if that thing hit us. Okay, now it's time for Floet. Okay, we're going to definitely need to switch out here. I don't know what to switch to exactly. Uh, definitely not Cleaver because it's a fighting type. Let's go Pudding. Yeah, Floet. That's a good Pokemon. Uh, Petal Blizzard's not very effective. And yeah, we go for Leaf Blade. Take it down in one hit. Pudding's level 48, and now it's time for Lee Vanny. Well, let's go Vulcan. Yeah, because Lee Vanny is quad weak to uh, Vulcan here. So, yep, there we go. Goodbye. This, yeah, Nora was really easy to fight. How are you always beating me? It's because I'm amazing. Oh, for Jaren's sake. I can't believe I lost again. How do you keep beating me? Anyways, Damien and I are going to head back to keep searching. If you can help, it out, help us out, we can really appreciate it. Let us know if you find anything interesting. She comes across very strong, doesn't she? She doesn't do any work. She's left it all to me. While I've been searching, she's been sitting around reading books in ancient Yenovian languages of all things. I should probably go back in. If you could help out, we'd appreciate it. Oh, I nearly forgot. I found this in my coat after I got kidnapped back in Bipic City. It's just a hair, but I think it's one of the Abyssal Cultists. I'm not sure if it'll be useful for, to you, but Mew needs DNA to transform, right? Okay, cool. So now we can be a part of the Abyssal Cult. So yeah, let's give us a hand. Okay. Let's talk to you. Welcome to the library. I'm Zachary. Okay, so now we... The thing is, we're gonna have to find books. I'm reading this fascinating book about Torin. I'd like to read it. Let's see. The Grapes of Polyrath. So, what about this book that we need to find? The Religious Freedom. It's not very interesting. Let's see. Love in the Time of Charmander. Like, where do we find these books for the quests? 
Anatomy of Dugdrio. No thanks. Let's see. The book's not very interesting. It's a book of 100 years of Geodude. And it's a book of Girl with a Dragon Knight Tattoo. Oh, isn't that like a reference to... What was that? That movie? That Girl with the Dragon Tattoo or whatever. I forgot what it's called. Pokemon Races. Um, Good Night Lunatone. American Psyduck. Healing in You. I got Swagger. Oh, man. And uh, there's really... Oh, we're... Arceus and Giratina, that's an interesting story, but where do I find those stories that they're looking for? The Bugsy Scandal. What, is it because he's a boy? No, let's see. I'm going to read that. At, uh, many years ago, a bunch of young Johto Reach was accused of losing a Pokemon battle for money. Oh, I thought it was something to do with his, his gender, because everyone's like, it's either he's a boy or a girl or something. It always is like that. Let's see. Oh, there's no... Hmm. Let's see. Oh. Is this maybe the book that we're looking for? No. No. Come on, please. Is it like a book on the floor or something we can pick up? Let's see. It doesn't look like it. So what do I do for the quest? Hmm. Let's just keep moving. Oh, it doesn't even let us go that way. So let's go this way. And let's talk to you. The painting on the walls are creepy. Um, let's talk to you. Nothing. Hey, there's a ladder. Maybe we can find our books here. Or no. Whoa, what's this? Hmm. That's interesting. There's like a different room. Hmm. Okay, I guess I don't know how... Oh, whoa, we got a TM for New Moon. What is that? It increases the power of gar dark and do bleh, dark and ghost type moves. Wow. Okay, that's really interesting. Hmm. Looks like I don't even know how you find those books. You know what? I'm gonna stop searching. Let's keep going this way. You know, I'll try one more time. Do we have to like? What's this? Oh, we can't really. Oh, we got ultra balls. Cool. Wait, where's Damien? What the heck? What, we can't go this way? How come we can't go that way? Oh, the door is locked. Oh, there you go. That's what we were supposed to do. Okay, an abandoned wing. Nice find, Michael. This might be where the prophecy is stored. I agree, nobody knows the prophecy except for the cult leaders. Might be hidden somewhere most people wouldn't look. Whoa. Are you three going to the abandoned wing? May I ask what it, about it interests you? Oh, we're about to look for a very old book, sir. We're traders, you see, and we're trying to take down the cult, and we figure that one prophecy about them might might be back here. I see. You're surprised at how many people have looked for that prophecy. Ah, <sighs> tourists. I'll let you in if you want. There's no prophecy back there, but there's one glowing orb. An orb? What do you mean? That's right. It's been there since the library was built. Only one of the different odds and ends lying around in the wing. Forever, for whatever reason, people believe it has something to do with the prophecy, so they'll try to get and react to it. I've seen hundreds of people leave disappointed. You really want to waste your time? You might as well try, right? Damien, for once in your life, you're right. Let us in. I promise we'll be quick. Fine, but we need to be fast. I have a lot of things to do today. Alright, it's unlocked. The glowing orb is the far end of the abandoned wing. There's even trainers back here. What? Huh. Oh, and then there's Pokemon back here, too. Dust Clops. Well, we'll crunch this thing. Oh, we got burned. That's not nice. Okay, let's see. Do we have anything to heal that? Please tell me we do. And we don't. Lovely. But it looks like we're at the 20-minute mark, so I think we're going to end off the episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, be, be sure to leave a like on this video. And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my YouTube channel for some more. Pokemon Insurgent, as well as Pokemon News. See you guys later.